15 ways to search Google that 96% of people don't know about. Google Search is not only a powerful search tool, but also the best friend for millions of people. It is always there for you, except for those times when you have no internet connection. Scary! It can help you with anything. It will find the lyrics to that song you heard on the radio, but only got you, me, forever, rain. Share the recipe for the most delicious pie and recommend the best restaurant around. Students can't go without it, and it is the key source of information for most adults, too. But more often than not, we have to sift through a vast body of knowledge to get the information we need, and this can take hours rather than minutes. Here's a list of the most effective methods and tricks for searching Google to help you find the information you're looking for in just a couple of clicks. If you can't imagine your life without Google, give this video a thumbs up. Watch this video till the end to see a cool bonus we have for you. 15. Either this or that. Sometimes we're not sure that we've correctly remembered the information or the name we need to start our search. But this doesn't have to be a problem. Simply put in a couple of potential variations of what you're looking for and separate them by typing the vertical bar symbol. Instead of this symbol, you can also use OR. Then it's easy enough to choose the result that makes the most sense. Imagine this. Your friend mentioned she wants to get the same haircut as Jennifer something. Was it Aniston or Lawrence? Google will show you both of them at once, so you can guess by description your friend gave you which of the Jennifers it was. How else can this trick be helpful? Imagine you are deciding which smartphone to buy. Make Google find and describe both options at once. Just type in, buy cheap Android or iPhone. Number 14. Searching using synonyms. Our language is rich in synonyms. Sometimes this can be very convenient when doing research online. If you need to find websites on a given subject, rather than those that include a specific phrase, add the tilde symbol to your search. For example, if you search for the term healthy tilde food, you'll get results about the principles of healthy eating, cooking recipes, as well as healthy dining options. See, different people have different ways of describing things. If you make Google search using synonyms, you won't have to type in your search query many times before you get to the point. More answers means more options at once. Number 13. Searching within websites. Sometimes you read an interesting article on a website and find yourself subsequently wanting to share it with your friends or simply reread it. The easiest way to find the desired piece of information again is to search within the website. To do this, type the address of the site, then a keyword or entire phrase from the article, and it should come up immediately. Our website, for example, is a great source of information on basically anything, so why not use it? Try typing in brightside.me something. Make that something a salad, and it will show you the best salad recipes we've shared. Number 12, the power of the asterisk. When your cunning memory decides not to let us remember that one keyword, phrase, or number we need to find what we're looking for, you can turn to the powerful asterisk symbol. Just use it in the place of the word or phrase you can't remember, and you should be able to find the results you're looking for. For example, you want to see that science fiction thriller that has too many numbers in its name. You got the 11.22, but forgot the 63. If you replace it with an asterisk, Google will find the whole thing for you. Number 11. When lots of words are missing. If it's the lengthier half of the phrase you can't remember rather than a single keyword, try writing out the first and last words and putting around plus the approximate number of missing words between them. Imagine you want to play it cool and show your knowledge of poetry. Everyone loves poetry, right? Or at least pretends to. Anyway, you might not remember the author's name, but you do remember he wrote something beautiful about him wandering with a cloud? Or was it as a cloud? Try typing in, I wandered around for cloud. Google will win this guessing game and show you the full poem by William Woodsworth. Number 10, using a number range. Sometimes we urgently need to get the list of events that occurred during a certain period of time. To do so, you can add a time frame to your search query with the help of three dots between the dates. For example, if we want to find out about scientific discoveries during the 20th century, we can write scientific discoveries 1900 dot 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 2000. Yes, it is easy like that. It also works with other numbers. 
you can try finding products within a certain price range, for example. For that, try googling GoPro Hero 5 $100 dot 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 300. In that case, don't forget to include an indicator of what you measure the amount in. Number 9. Searching for a title or URL. To help find the keywords and name of an article, type in title colon before the search term without any spaces between them. To find the words from a URL, use in URL colon. It is important that you make no spaces between words and punctuation. Number 8. Finding similar websites. If you found something you really like online and want to find similar websites, type in related colon and then the address of the site, again without a space between them. For example, if you thought Nike website has a lot of cool stuff to offer, but you want to see more options, you can ask Google to find them for you. It will easily find related websites. Number 7. Whole Phrases Framing the search term within quotation marks is the simplest and most effective way to find something specific and in the exact order you typed it in. For example, if you type in the words, I'm picking up good vibrations, without quotation marks, the search engine will show the results where those words appear in any order on a website, not in the specific order in which you type them. However, if you type, I'm picking up good vibrations in quotation marks, you'll get only those results where these words appear only in the order you type them in. This is a great way to find the lyrics to a song when you only know one line from it. We all just need to find song lyrics from time to time, don't we? Click the like button if you use Google for that. Number 6. Unimportant search words. To remove unimportant search words from your query, simply write a minus symbol before each one. For example, if you want to find a site about interesting books, but you aren't looking to buy them, you can write the following. Interesting books minus buy. Number 5. Searching images using images. Imagine you were browsing the internet and suddenly saw the picture of the most beautiful coat ever. Or maybe your friend posted from some incredibly fancy cafe, but has not added a location mark and wants to keep it secret. Google can solve both mysteries for you. All you have to do is save the picture, hit the camera button on Google Images, attach the picture, or paste its URL. Google will then find similar images on the web. Number 4. Defining words and learning where they come from. Any language, including English, is constantly developing, so new words appear and old words become history. Google will help you define them all easily if you type in define and a colon with no space before the word. It will give you the word definition, so you will know what the word means without having to go through hundreds of search results before you find out or guess. This trick also works with slang words and acronyms. Another linguistic tool you can try is typing in etymology colon period. This way, you will find out where the word comes from. Try both of these tools with the word mortgage comma, for example. Number 3. Finding a specific file. Sometimes you know exactly what you need and in what shape you want it. Maybe you have already seen a great PDF or PowerPoint online and now you need it again or you just want to look at all the options. Google will help you find the right file. If you want to find a colorful PDF on cat breeds, for example, type in cat breeds file type colon PDF. You will get access to thousands of PDFs on the topic in no time. Number two, using Google as a spell checker. This trick might seem basic, but it is still very useful. You know how Google politely offers you the correct way to spell words when you make a mistake by accident? You can make the best use of its natural spelling talent. If you are not sure how to write this or that word, try typing it in search query. Google will help you out. Use the word in a word combination for a better result. Number 1. Tracking your packages You already know you can use Google to look for all types and kinds of files. It turns out, it can also help you track your package real quick. Instead of doing the usual thing and going to the shipping company website, just type your tracking number in a search query. It will work with UPS, USPS, and FedEx. Now you will always know where your package is, and you won't have to navigate any websites or wait for them to load. Finally, it's time for our bonus trick. 
You did some hard work learning to use Google like a pro, so now it's time to play. If you search Atari Breakout on Google Images, the famous Brick Breaker will start right there. Enjoy it! We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll try all these tricks out. Let us know how it went in the comments. Also, if this video gets 5,000 likes, we are going to share more fun tricks you can try out on your computer. Subscribe to our channel not to miss any updates. And always, stay on the bright side of life!